Hello and welcome back to another episode of It's the Vibe podcast. You are with your host Megan. As always, you would have thought by my third podcast that I would have nailed the intro, but you know what? Here we are. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, so today's episode is called My Month of Introspection. So I had to make sure that I had this word right before I got started with this episode, but the the definition according to Google or wherever Google pulled this from um, for introspection is the examination or observation of one's own mental and emotional processes. So, which is exactly what I needed because I recognized that I was not operating from a state of flow or ease or calm. I was fucking white knuckling the last couple of months in particular to get through life. And that's just not how I like to operate. That's not my vibe. <laughs> that is just not it. So I had some dramas to deal with, with people in my life um, and had to have some hard conversations. I got really unwell for a period there as well, um, which is typically a huge, big flashing red light. So the fuck down. Uh, and sure enough, I ignored it. I kept trying to push through. <laughs> um, the business growth that I had um, to work out how to have the capacity for uh, really threw me as well. Even though it was so beyond exciting and amazing, it was something that I had to fit into my day to day. So it was a bit of a struggle. Um, also a new relationship that I had to factor in on top of all of it. Um, I also had the pleasure of looking after my goddaughter for a week. Um, and if you want to test out your adaptability and the flexibility of your schedule, just chuck a baby into that mix and see how you go. So I recognized that my current habits were not serving me. Um, and in order to create the space that I needed to, to call in what I wanted to, she just had to change. So there was that factor, but most importantly, I just wasn't feeling how I wanted to feel. So I'm somebody that thrives in chaos. I love to hustle. So I have quite a high tolerance for what may seem like uncontrollability to most people. But even I felt completely out of control and like I was spinning my wheels and going absolutely nowhere. I also became very unclear on some of the key aspects of my life and how I wanted them to feel. And again, for someone who runs on how they feel, runs on emotions, I well and truly run on vibes. It just was not the vibe for me. So I needed to stop what I was doing and do the absolute bare minimum and focus the rest of the time on removing what I didn't want and how I didn't want to feel. And on the flip side of that, working out how I did want to feel and what were the habits, people, actions, all those kind of things that were in alignment with that. So in during this break, I happened to come across the CEO day concept from Georgie Stevenson. And the questions that she asks herself once a week is what's currently working or what's feeling good, not what's not working or feeling good. Where, where do I want to be in six to 12 months? What do I need to do to get there? And what do I need to let go of to get there? And one that I added for myself was what do I need to be in terms of energy to have that future? So they were real big game changers for me personally. I absolutely loved the introspection and the ability to have something there that was just so simple to work through and to talk to myself through um, and to journal on and really around, again, what's not working because we're very good at saying, oh, I don't want this and I don't want this and I don't want this. But then you ask people what they do want and they got no fucking idea myself included all right so I've always operated from a space of doing doing all of the things and yes I've obviously heard you know about a billion times that it finally sunk in that again I run off of fuels most of the time which taps into how I'm being and which is a direct result in what I'm doing so it's a full fucking circle right so Always operating from doing instead of being is the reason I got into this space in the first place in terms of this mindset. And also, again, there are people out there that would absolutely thrive in that kind of environment where it's like doing, 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 and they don't need the introspection for being. But I have identified that I am the type of person that needs the ability to be in order to do. Now, that is a whole other podcast episode that we're not even going to get into right now. Um, but what I really found so, you know, profound and so amazing into the insights in my own mind was asking those questions and again being able to be very honest with myself and think okay if I peel back all of these layers here what is actually left who is the meeting that I want to be what does she have to do how does she have to show up how do I want her to feel all of those things so I encourage you to do the same 
and strip back as much as you possibly can and focus more on the feels that the action for this exercise, right? Because it's all beautifully linked. So again, those questions are what's currently working or feeling good and feeling good, I should say. What's not working and what's not feeling good? Where do I want to be in six to 12 months? What do I need to do to get there? What do I need to let go of to get there? And what do I need to be in the energy of to have that future? And again, I think you'll find that what you need to let go of and what's not feeling good, the most insightful, because that's exactly what I did. So there are a number of people I was holding into my life that I had to let go of, um, even things like um, resentment and bits and pieces around the way that I have been with myself and the things that I have let myself do, or, you know, in the ways that I've been procrastinating and things like that, that, you know what, I just let it go. I just released all of the guilt. I released any kind of feeling to anything. And I was like, great, well, this is where I'm starting from these days. So this is where we can springboard from. So it's also a great time to do a big spring clean or order of the people in your life. So new people have come into my life. Others have taken a back seat. Um, others are out completely as well. And I will continue to adjust accordingly because I'm just so affected by those around me. And I, again, it's been a really hard lesson to learn when you desperately want certain people in your life, but there is just no space for them. There is no, I guess, um, benefit of having them in your life, which sounds really fucking harsh. And it is, but it's just really, really key because, um, again, especially somebody who works off of vibes and who, can feel the energy around me it is absolutely crucial that I just have the best people around me because otherwise I don't thrive right so I have learned so much from this last month because I got out of avoidance I stopped sprinting and I just took a sec just to walk for a kilometer or two and to face the obstacles ahead from a significantly more grounded place so again, I'm one of these people that will sprint like a motherfucker and instead of just walking for a few kilometers so that it's still forward momentum, you're still moving forward, it's all still happening, I don't like to slow down. So what happens? My body or my mind will make me just stop. So I have really gotten the ability or gotten good at the ability to recognize my patterns and calling myself on my own bullshit. So I can go from sprinting to walking instead of sprinting to crashing and again, it's all forward motion. It's all good stuff. It's all the reason why I've been able to clearly identify where the fuck I'm going wrong in this space. So where in your life can you identify where you are running, sprinting, bloody going absolutely ham at things? And where do you have the ability to be able just to walk or to, even bloody jog is still slow down from a sprint? right? Even to jog, then move to walking. Because what you'll find is that opens up so much space in order to, for things to come in. And again, we create this space in our lives because we're trying to fill it with good things. But when you create the space and you're not used to having that space in your life, you'll fill it with whatever your unconscious patterns are. So, you know, there are a million examples I can give to you, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But, you know, for a good example for me was, you know, calling in space to um, let creative downloads come into. So I've changed my morning practice in terms of my meditation and what I do. But what was happening at the start, it was filling up with all the things that I was avoiding doing and procrastinating against doing. And then that I didn't have any space to call in any new thoughts because it was like I was overwhelmed with all the rest of the shit that was going on. Okay. So what I'm doing though is I'm bringing all of this goodness to you in a shiny new masterclass. Now, it is not launching right this second. It will be not too far away. And I will give you the link to be able to sign up to opt in early so that you know exactly what it is. You'll be the first to know. Um, and basically, we're going to look to align again. But the being and the doing is a is really, really critical and a beautiful, harmonious kind of full circle moment. So it's the being, it's the doing, but also the feeling as well. So we're going to kind of nut out exactly how you want to feel in your day. And then from there, we're going to bring in the activities that allow you to feel that way. So it's really, really fun exercise. I have gotten so much out of doing it. So I encourage you to sign up so you are the first person to know what's going on. Now, I hope this, this helped and I would love to hear if you've implemented any of these or what you do in times of overwhelm. So you can come and find me at it's the vibe.podcast. And as I said in the welcome intro, if you have listened to the other episode, um, I'm going to leave you with things that are the vibe and aren't the vibe for each week. So this week it is 
gratitude my favorite thing in the whole bloody wide world so it is absolutely the vibe and if you're on my mailing list if you know you know because you would know (laughs) um and what is not the vibe is self-doubt because we do not have time for that here everything is figure outable and again I could do a whole bloody podcast episode on everything being figure outable because when I discovered this fact and when I implemented it into my life again everything changed because you can bloody work out anything it's absolutely fine so gratitude is the vibe self-doubt is not the vibe and I hope you are as excited as I am in order to continue to clear out things from my life to make space for all of the good stuff. And I would love to, as always, hear from you, as I said, over it's the vibe podcast. I love you so much. And remember, no matter what you're doing, make sure that it's the vibe.